Welcome to Drawing Post Rhino Videos. In this video, I'll take you through a simple error that sometimes happens when we use Rhino's flow command. As you can see here, I have a flat object with the design I've created utilizing some cutouts as well as some extruded circles. If I change my view mode to wireframe momentarily, you can see here that I have my base curve I'll be using for the flow command. Let's go back to ghosted view mode now. And I'm going to show you an error that sometimes happens when you use the command. Occasionally, if you select near the wrong end of the line, the design will flow towards the inside of the ring pan instead of the outside. Luckily, there's an easy fix for that. I'll click on my flat object, input the flow command, at the base curve, select near one end, I'm going to select at the left end of that line I showed you earlier. At the target curve, select near matching end, I'll select towards the top quad point of the ring circle construction line. And you can see our mistake here. These extrudes are going towards the inside of the ring band. We obviously don't want that. Let's undo that now. And we'll input the flow command again. I'll select my flat object, input the flow command, and at the base curve select near one end, I'll select near the right end of my construction line. For the target curve select near matching end, I'll click on the top quad point of the circle again. My design flowed correctly, and I've created a nice ring band. Let's view it in rendered view mode. So that's your quick tip for today. You get an error when using Rhino's flow command? Try selecting near the other end of the base curve you've created. It might just fix your problem. Stay tuned for the next quick tip why you should align seam points when using Rhino's sweep 1 and 2 rails commands.